Hey there, <clears throat> excuse me. Hey there, this is Jennifer Wood, and um, I wanted to show you how you can make a um, like a transparent logo. So, like if you're posting pictures and you want to put your name on there so that someone else doesn't snag your photos, um, like you know, maybe you're sharing before and afters and you want to make sure that uh, your name is on there. Or you're doing an advertisement and you um, kind of want to brand yourself and put your logo at the bottom. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really, really simple. Um, I like to use PicMonkey.com. You can do the free version. Um, it has, I mean, really, there's no need to pay unless you want some of the other features. But what you're going to do, so PicMonkey.com. I'm going to walk you through the beginning. Pick Monkey, And you need to do this on the desktop or like a laptop. So you're going to click design and that's going to pop up just like a little box. Uh, now what you want to do is do a transparent. That's going to give you a transparent background so that when you put this logo on top of a picture, it's not going to have like white or black or anything like that. So for right now, I'm going to unclick the transparent um, so that we can see what our logo looks like. So now you're going to click on text add text and then you can play with the fonts you can kind of figure out what you want if you want something just basic um, you know so you just type that and I'm just going to use my name as an example Jennifer Wood Fitness and you again you can change things up you can with with PicMonkey um, you can do a lot of different things um, or you can just kind of keep it simple. So it's totally up to you. You could also, something I like to do if you really want to play with it, um, you could kind of split it up. Um, like it doesn't all have to be together. So I'm just, this isn't going to look great, but I'm just kind of showing you how you can play with it. Um, but you can sit there and you can play with it. You could do whatever color you want. Um, I recommend that you do it in a few different colors so once you get what you like um, then do it in different colors like do one in black do one in white um, okay so I'm gonna keep this simple we're gonna delete this all right so this is we'll put it in black Oops. It's in different fonts. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll just do that. All right. So now um, I have my name, and you just want to keep it like that. So I'm going to go back to background. I'm going to use the background uh, right here. Canvas color, and click on transparent. So now all you have to do is save it. And then you would save it as like your name, you know, black. Like I would do like Jennifer Wood Fitness Black logo. And then just save to your computer. Um, <clears throat> I recommend that you, if you have a Google Drive, save it in there so you have access to it. But anyway, you can just save it as a download. And then what you can do is you can send this to yourself, to your phone, like email it to yourself. Save it on your phone under favorites so that you can easily just grab that, throw it on top of a, um, say you made an advertisement or a little picture and you want to add your logo to it. You can use an app called Photo Marks. Um, it is Photo MA, hold on, let's see. Um, it's one word, Photo Marks, M A R K S and you just open the picture that you want to use then you click add logo and then you grab your logo and you just put it like on that picture and you can make it smaller you can make it bigger and then if you want it to look like um, what do you call it um, watermark then all you're gonna do is click fade and it's gonna fade that so I'm gonna show you something okay apply you can just see how it looks like a watermark. So if you have a problem of people taking your stuff <laughs> and not giving you credit, um, you can put your watermark on the photo. 
So I just think that's a neat way. Plus you're branding yourself and it's fun. So, all right. Hope that helps you guys. Bye.